I got everything all pressed and I went ahead and added this next step. So I put my chunky uh, shorter wide strips on and now the next step will be to begin making our, our sunburst uh, shapes. Oh yeah, that's my black lab. He has a big fat mouth. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is create this triangle effect, but in a very simple way. We're gonna take one, and I have gone ahead and used my, my bigger squares and marked on the diagonal for you. So, or I guess for myself. So the important thing here, and I know I notate this in the in, in directions, when we lay this down, it's going to need to come down and be making this sh this starburst shape. So I always like to just look at it, think about it, fold it, say, yep, that's that's correct. Because if you put it on here and then you you think you're right and you trim your edge when you're done, you just now you need another strip because it went on wrong. So this one obviously lays here. And when I'm done, I'll be cutting uh, the seam allowance and and ironing it open and that's gonna work out great. And on this side, I'm gonna do that same thing. When I fold it, it, it's correct. And I will be cutting the seam allowance and folding it open. And then I'm using my matching fabrics. So these fabrics are matching and these fabrics are matching. So I just randomly laid that down. Now fold it open, fold it on my, on my, my line where I ironed, it will not work. So I clearly have that on wrong. I will turn it, double check. Yep, that's perfect. So that one goes on this way, and then this one goes this way. So that's the layout. Okay, I'm sure you guys are loving that this is a little short. That's the layout for the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and iron on all my lines, and then I'm going to trim my seam allowance, and I will be back to show you that result.